You can see my windshield is actually cracked. You'd actually have to replace it. It's kind of like a cancer that just that. spreads. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Chicago Auto Pros. It's been one year since Eman has wrapped my Tesla fully in PPF, and we want to show it to you so you can realistically get some expectations on if you're thinking about getting your car wrapped in PPF, what it will look like after a year. Now, I have 17,000 miles on this car. Yeah. I drive on the highway. Yes. Mostly highway. Yes, 90% highway. Yeah, and I drive fast. Really fast. I like to drive fast. <laughs> Speed limit 65 in Illinois. He likes to do 85, 90. Yes. Okay. So uh, we want to show you the car. Um, what is PPF mainly for? I mean, the, why do people get PPF? So PPF is mainly for people that want to keep their car pristine. Okay. Uh, you want to protect your paint and you don't want it exposed to the elements. Um, you really want your car staying perfect all year long. Okay. So we wrapped Jason's car about a year ago. Um, the biggest reason why is because Jason is a crazy fanatic about his car and his paint. As it's you guys black, know. I don't want scratches. Let's take a step back. Let's yeah. just show it like, okay. Now this car looks fantastic. And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to get PPF is that self-healing top coat. I don't like scratches and swirls. No. I want to keep it looking Nobody good. does. Now getting closer, this isn't paint perfection film. We have done a very good install. We want to show you some of the edges, some of the lines, and see how they're holding up. We want to show you the front end, the high impact areas. We actually have one big boo-boo right here that we can talk about. This happened maybe in a parking lot, maybe in my driveway. Somebody opened their door into my car. And normally, that would probably chip the paint. Oh yeah, you'd have a lot of paint missing right there. But since we have paint protection film on it, it actually chipped the paint protection film. You can see it, we actually pulled it back a little bit and there is no paint damage um, to that paint. So we can actually just take this off and replace it. Mm -hmm. yep. Which I like that option better because if I had to go to a body shop for that, what they usually do is blend it in. You know, they have to blend the adjacent panels. Um, so they're not just painting the door, they're painting three panels. And then what normally happens at a body shop is overspray can happen. They're painting a lot of different things that can get dirty. And a repaint is not as good as OEM. It just doesn't stick as well. Um, there are good body shops out of there, but it seems like the majority of them uh, just try to do it as fast as they can. And you're gonna have dust nibs and all kinds of other defects in there. And that never really finishes out right. And it just never looks the same ever again. In my personal experience, I had uh, a black uh, jet black BMW and I dented the rear uh, the rear trunk. I went and got it repainted. Uh -huh. Okay, so they it's supposed to be jet black. I got it back three weeks later. Yeah. Okay, so I had three weeks without a car and I also had to get a rental for a week and a half just to get to work. When I got it back, it was supposed to be jet black. They thought they painted it jet black. I guess their mixture was off and it was actually like a dark brown black. Oh, so wow. in the sunlight, the, it didn't my, look the same. It didn't look the same at all. So then I had to bring it back. They resprayed it again. Yeah. I got the the car two weeks later, and then it was a little yeah. bit closer, but it really still didn't match. Definitely another challenge with uh, pearlescent coats. Like if you Ooh. have a pearlescent car, like you can't just repaint one panel. No. Like you have to repaint the entire side of the car so everything yes. matches. Yes. Otherwise, yes, yes. it will be off. Yes. Let's move on to the front. So. Most customers are, are gonna get the front impact area. So the front bumper, the fenders, the hood, and the side mirrors here. And let's take a look at uh, some of the damage that we have. And we do have some damage. So you can see we have a rock chip right on the hood. That's one of the bigger ones. And then you can see a lot of little smaller rock chips on the hood. It's kind of like uh, they're peppered a little bit. And normally, if this did not have paint protection film on it, there would be paint missing throughout the entire front end because we've done hundreds of these cars. We see Teslas come in here every day and the ones without paint protection film, I don't know if it's the waterborne paint or what it is, but when something hits it, it actually takes a chip out of the, out of the car. And while you see some impacts here, it looks a lot better than it would with no paint protection film. And one important thing is exposure, right? So if we have a metal panel, you know, obviously this is, uh, this is aluminum, 
but if it, if it was steel on other cars, most cars are gonna be steel. Yes. If you have that missing paint and you're down to bare metal, now that bare metal is exposed to all the salt and all the elements and could potentially rust and corrode. Once aluminum corrodes, it's called gal galvanic, galvanic corrosion. Uh -huh. So on steel, you get normal rust. Yeah. On anything aluminum, you get this stuff called galvanic corrosion and it actually bubbles your paint underneath. So once yeah. you get a nice rock chip in this paint, it'll start to spread and it, it just, it's kind of like a cancer that just it. spreads. Yeah. yeah. You see it, I own a Jeep. Yeah. And the Jeep, Jeeps are known to have a lot of galvanic corrosion and I have it in, in multiple areas. So I'm very familiar with yeah. aluminum panels. Coming up here, we have uh, some chips. We have a chip right here on the top of the fender. We can replace it if we want. I'm not going to replace it. It doesn't bother me uh, too much. I know the rest of the car is, is safe underneath. Um, we'll talk about the actual install. So we wrap all the edges as possible. So this hood's wrap, this fender's wrap, there are some places where you can't wrap, like where the bumper meets a fender. It's just too tight there to wrap in there. And the film would start to bunch and you just can't wrap that. But it's right to the edge and you can see there's no lines lifting. Everything looks perfect, straight down, nice and even. And that's a compliment to the install. Yes. Um, this is a clear bra. You, should, you, you don't want to see it. You don't want the edges to start peeling back. If you do have a car that you have paint protection film on there, if it starts peeling back, that's under warranty. You can have that redone by the installer. They should warranty that and, and it shouldn't be peeling back at all. If it is, they didn't do it right. You can see my windshield is actually cracked and then there's a chip right on the A pillar. Most installers are gonna put a pre-cut kit where the line actually goes right to this body line. But we actually like to make sure that we're covering everything as possible. This is actually wrapped into that rubber seal and that chip there is now just in the paint protection film. It is not in the actual paint and we would actually probably have exposed metal there if that paint protection film wasn't wrapped in there like that i actually got a couple other rock chips on the car too one of them actually cracked the front windshield a little bit if you live in the midwest you know oh, yeah. it seems like there's road construction all the time and you're always going to have sand and stuff just bouncing up on the car it's just yeah. crazy how much they do that you know the biggest reason again for me for getting this is minimizing the scratches and swirls because i love glossy paint. I love yeah. the way that this looks and I can't believe how good it actually still looks yeah. after a year. And I wash it every two, two weeks. Mm -hmm. I maintain it. I think that's one of the most important things yes. when you have paint protection film is you got to consistently wash it, right? Yeah. Wash it um, every week or every two weeks. Uh, you can actually do maintenance on this because even if you do wash it, there's contaminants that you can get on uh, the car, you can get tar, you can get sap, you can get bugs, you can get, uh, you know, the iron particles from the braking system, rail dust, that stuff can stick on there. So if you want to learn how to actually care and maintain PPF, I actually have a video in one of the corners that you can click on and you can see that. Um, but the scratches and swirls, that self-healing top coat has done very well, but it's not perfect. There is some limitations to the self-healing. Uh, come on in the back and we'll show you. Um, I do have a deeper scratch on the back here. And you can kind of see, if you can get close in, in certain angles of light, you're going to see other smaller scratches. You know, you can still scratch. If you scratch through that, there's a thin layer of that self-healing clear coat. And what it normally does when you bring it out in the sun, it'll actually heat up and kind of self-heal. Uh, so what we're going to do, I think this car would look a lot different if I did not have paint protection film on it. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to make another video. We're going to do a half the hood. I'm gonna put half the hood with PPF and half the hood with just bare paint. Ooh. And maintain it like I would. I'm gonna put a spray ceramic on it. I'm gonna wash it like normal. And then we'll see what it looks like after three months, after six months. And I wanna show you the difference of that, what that self-healing top coat does um, throughout time. So I'm excited to do that one and really show you guys what this can do. But you know, again, it's not paint perfection film. It's, it's meant to protect the paint underneath. It's a sacrificial layer. And it has done a very, very good job on this. I'm very happy with washing it, maintaining it. Let's go over some of the edges and some of the lines. So you can see here, we actually took these lights out and wrapped this in. And you can see how tight this light is to this fender here. So we got a little bit of a bubble there. So what we can do is actually trim that back. 
and then take that piece off and you'll see a little bit of a line. But this is so tight here that you're not gonna get film in there. No. The car moves, you know, when you're driving it expands and that's what's kind of pushed that out. Again, if you have any exposed edges, if you have any like that, uh, most of the time they can just be trimmed. Uh, but sometimes uh, if you've trimmed them too much, you'd actually have to replace it and that should be under warranty. Oh yeah, 100%. One of the biggest reasons why here at Chicago Auto Pros we like to wrap all edges is because you clearly you saw on the front uh, a big rock hit the A-pillar and then it probably hit the windshield, cracked the windshield, correct? Uh, in, in any of these edges, like the rarest of things, right? It hit the A-pillar and, and it chipped yeah. the paint, right? It yeah. could have chipped the paint. I've seen chips on the inside of these doors right here. Yeah, There's this is yeah, this is a big spot here that's chipped all the time on doors. It's the weirdest things you would not think that you would get a chip right on the inside of this door, but you, it's very easily, you know, you run a wider tire. Jason's running these snow tires. They're gonna catch a lot of stuff. It's gonna bounce a lot of stuff off the ground. Those those rocks are gonna bounce and ricochet in different directions and yeah. and whatnot. So I get a lot of cars that come in where these edges aren't wrapped and they're just peppered mm -hmm. with millions of little rock chips. And then this looks perfect and then that looks uh, chipped up. So the biggest reason why we like to just wrap all edges is for that reason exactly, you know? It does take a, a little bit longer and it's more meticulous, but like the end result shows right here, you know? Yeah. So I opened this door and I even checked back here. It looks fantastic. I opened the door right here and we've wrapped all the way into this inside body line, um, yeah. preventing any chips from really even getting in right here. Yeah, you don't, you can see the chips along here. And if that wasn't wrapped, um, those would all be chipped. And, and you don't want to see the film. You want it to be invisible. You don't want to know that film is there. Um, I've always thought paint protection film, it has like a glossier look to it. Than it does. Paint. I don't know why, but um, I've always liked that about paint protection film. It There's a, ni a nice depth to it, you yeah. know? If you get right up to it, sometimes you can see orange peel. Slightly, yes. Um, but I think most cars have orange peel anyways. You know, mm -hmm. you see that on most cars. But um, most of the time you're not looking at a car like <laughs> this. <laughs> you know, you're looking at it from five feet or you know, you're standing here looking at a car and it looks, and that's, it looks fantastic. Yes. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear them. If you wanna come look at my car in person and see it, what it looks like after a year, I encourage you to come down take a look at it. Um, we wanted to go through this just to kind of, you know, we're, we wanna give realistic expectations of what you can expect because it's not a force field. Um, you're still going to get some chips in there, but the whole point of it is that your paint is protected underneath and hopefully you're gonna spend no time in the body shop. Also something that you may not know, if you do get in an accident and something happens, the paint protection film is covered in, under insurance. Ooh. So Very insurance nice. will pay not only to, to fix the panel if you get in a car accident, but it'll pay to put the paint protection film back on the vehicle. So um, again, if you have any questions, we'd love to answer as many as possible uh, for you guys. We wanted to show you this um, one year after the paint protection film. Put them in the comments down below. If you want to get in touch with us, look in the description. Otherwise, we'll see you later.